gotta say I am actually pretty excited to finish off this game not today or not on this sitting but I'm having so much fun I have no idea when the last time I played Yoshi's Island was but it has been uh, quite a while honestly so hopefully we can get my split going on time as well welcome to Monkey Island which reminds me, Monkey Island is a great game. Maybe I can even stream PC games like that. There's always one star that just won't play nice. Alright, these monkeys though, legit. These monkeys are the funnest and cutest creation to ever grace any Nintendo game ever. So first of all, if you jump on top of them, they like get stunned and then they go, did you see it scratch its head and just bound off? Come here, let me show that off again, you little monkey. Anyways, let me uh, get this one. Alright, so watch when he gets up, scratches his head, and jumps off. So then another thing is, what about Yoshi eating mechanics? Come here, you little monkey. So you can spit him out, same thing, they do the same stun effect. And yeah, you can turn him into eggs. The ones in the tree here throw stuff at you. As you can see, same mechanic if you jump on them. Oh, but did you see that it started to climb? Oops. <laughs> I want to see that climbing action. Oh, that's so cute! Alright, some can... Oh, drop bombs. You might have seen the one with the watermelon. They like eat a chunk and then they spit watermelon seeds at you. Ha! <laughs> so what's really cool is... Alright, let's get that out of the way. Oh no, the foreground's in the way. It's a cute, unique tile because the watermelon is like half eaten. Has a bite taken out of it. Has far less seeds than if I were to have tongued a full watermelon. And I think it's like infinite too, like they can spit forever. Alright, let's... Oh! Oh! I was gonna try to get him on the slope so you could see the uh, watermelon with the chunk taken out of it a little easier. All of those animations are great though. Same thing, seed only stuns them, nothing kills it. This unfortunately kills them though. And then the coolest part is what happens when monkeys interact with water. They like drown, drown? Nah, they swim just fine. So, I remember forever, playing forever with these monkeys in this level because it's just so fun to do. And it's like, it kind of brings back memories of maybe say modern games where, okay, oh no. Anyways, let me see if I can, we want to show off, okay, there it is. Watermelon with the chunk taken out of it. But seriously though, certain modern games... Oh look at the little frog, I forgot about the frogs. It's like the little Yoshi house birds. Alright, so to finish my thought though... Oh! 
there are certain modern video games where you can do things that make absolutely no effect on the main game, like building stuff, or making settlements. Optional, completely optional, but fun stuff. But why do you play video games? I play video games because they're fun. So this is a level- Oh no! <laughs> This is a level that's just fun to play around in. Like, all we're doing is interacting with monkeys. Oh, that's interesting. I couldn't just flutter over it. Uh -oh. I had to get low enough so that the screen would scroll to the down direction so that I could then proceed and go further. Oh, you monkey! But seriously, I do have the Scum MD, or Scum VM, whatever it's called, emulator, which is perfect for... That was so cute. Uh, perfect for streaming. Oh, I need something to... Perfect for streaming PC, or running, like, for example, the Curse, or the Secret of Monkey Island. Because I'm pretty sure on my Windows XP machine, I was able to run all of those Monkey Island games just fine, but even on my Windows 7 machine, I needed to use the emulator to run them, which is sad. So I might do that, actually. Oh yeah! So by the way... That uh, swinging monkey vine that I kind of jumped into inst- like... Oh, sorry, I'm gonna have to eat some of these guys. Just need more eggs. Well, he- he saved his own life. Oh, man, I- Okay, yeah, so they can steal Baby Mario, too, which is also another cute thing. So, literally, the amount of programming that was put into those little monkey critters was amazing. Jungle Rhythm. So I believe this is the one where you have shy guys on stilts, which are also in their little jungle primal. Yeah, so the shields protect them from the front, so you have to eat them from behind. And obviously, this might shock you, but you can't jump on top of them. <laughs> Uh-oh. But you can tongue them back just like the, uh, the tap taps. Okay, yeah, that's right. I kind of forgot what that is. Oh. See, this is a red one right there. Oh no! Missed that platform, did I? <laughs> Off the edge, please. Thank you. Oh, ho, 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 man. I almost died again. Slightly forgetting what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, there we go. Platform much? Oh man. The guy 
gotta get into the rhythm in this jungle rhythm. I am not in rhythm, am I? Well, that right Ryan escaped from me. You tap taps. Man, I was right there at the end, too. Ridiculous. like the giant blarg thing, except it's in swamp water, I believe. Look at them eyebrows, though. Oh boy. Like, those are ridiculous eyebrows. Fun fact, so like, if you look at Hollywood movies, right? You have, like, these classic pinup ladies of the 50s or whatever who, like, have spot-on makeup. And I'm pretty sure they've stenciled their eyebrows on. But at least they, like, cared. And then, like, what happened? There, there's, like, a ton of... Oh, no. There's, like, a ton of 80s, even early 90s movies where, like, all of your actresses, even, like, your actresses that, you know, are supposed to be, like, there for eye candy don't do anything to their eyebrows. It's like, ugly, gross eyebrows. It's like, what was wrong with that generation of women? Like, seriously. by the monkey. Bad monkey. Uh -oh. Okay, they this enemy is like super cute cuz essentially let me get rid of some eggs here. If you defeat the mama, which I... Oh wait, you don't even have to. You can steal her babies and use them, like, as eggs. But as a bonus, like, they, like, are kind of like boomerangs. Oh my goodness gracious. Get back here. After you use them as an egg, they, like, fly back to you as Yoshi because you're the new mom makes total sense, because, like, hey, you know this... Ha! <laughs> I, I forgot about this. It, like, sh shoots out that. Okay, um, you're the new mom, right? Because everyone knows if you just go and kill a mother or anything, its babies will, like, say, oh, hey, you just killed our mom. Oh, shoot, the helicopter. You just killed our mom, but it's totally okay for us to now... Be your children. Okay, so let me demonstrate our first. Oh no, it died. Well, that's embarrassing. Maybe I am completely mistaken on. Most of the stuff that spews out of my mouth. Oh wait, it's just a debating if I should do the uh, like helicopter. Oh snap! It looks like I have to. That's why the door's there so it can respawn you 
and get rid of the bridge that uh, was built over there. back-to-back -back transformations. Check out this background though, isn't that beautiful? So even though you can't submerge, oh Yoshi's trying, you have to like fall with enough gravity that you touch that. basically have an infinite number of torpedoes, so just fire away. Keep shooting! We've got lots of torpedoes! Alright, example. Sorry, I'm still stuck on uh, eyebrows here. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, right? I forget the gal actress who's like Ferris Bueller's girlfriend, but like especially in the uh, the pool scene, right? She's in this one-piece swimsuit or whatever. Check out the girl's eyebrows. It's like, it's like, girl, you've done nothing with your eyebrows. Like it's like you rolled out of bed with your eyebrows all ping and. You shot the movie like this? Uh, or another one that popped into my my head. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. The the gal who goes off to get a job. Same thing, her eyebrows. Oh man. I just missed that. Her eyebrows in don't tell mom the babysitter's dead are also similarly frazzled all over the place. It's like you can't even like, oh, I don't know, the, the hairs that are standing straight up like clip them so they're even. Like, forget about uh, stenciling. Can't you just like trim them so that they look nice? But I'm not joking. Like, look at a lot of movies. Oh, see, I told you, boomerang. I'm not completely crazy. Look at a lot of movies and the women in actresses in that time period. There was just a lot where, like, nobody cared about the way they looked, or I should say, about their eyebrows. Like, maybe they. Whoa! Whoa! He just stole Barry Baby Mario. Like, maybe they cared about, you know, oh, how their hair looked, or how their eyeshadow or lashes looked like, but, like, isn't a woman's eyebrows the most important aspect of her face? I mean, like, and if, if you disagree with that, I mean, I'm just curious. Let's say, okay, take a beautiful woman who has a beautiful face and give her a unibrow. Are you still going to say she's got a beautiful face or not? I'm willing to bet... Most people would say not. Alright. Unsurprisingly, though, these little bird egg things that can be boomerangs if you don't kill them, if you cross the goal uh, ring, If you cross the goal ring with them, they uh, go off home. Oh! Those fish are as cheap as the cheap cheeps. I do love the frog's croak sound though. Oh! So, speaking of frogs, which will get us off, get me off my eyebrow rant, 
speaking of frogs, the next level up is Prince Froggy's Fort. Which is a absolutely humorous boss fight. See how it spit out two eggs there? Once again, I love this music so much. Probably my favorite musical track on the entire Yoshi's Island game, to be honest. Is there a reason I need to be here? Okay, that probably spawns like a flower or something, but don't remember. Uh oh. that spike is an instant death, but I, I don't remember that it is, so we'll go with it being not, but I don't want to find out. <laughs> uh, is this another little flower quest room? Okay, yeah, 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 so here's a game mechanic for you. Riding the pail across water. Of course, later... Well, I guess you do need it to jump out, but see, it's a nice little training level so that uh, it teaches you how you have to actually do this. In later levels, you have to ride it across the lava, and so obviously Yoshi just can't... What was the point of that? Yoshi just can't swim across lava, so... By that time, you would have already seen, oh, there's a pail. If I hit the pail with the egg and drop it, I can ride the pail like a ride. take this all the way to the end to use it to jump off to get high enough. Moment oh my goodness, moment of truth. Nope. I could have just swam. Swam the English channel. Playing too many of those trolley Zelda games where there's invisible enemies. So I'm like, oh, well, the arrow said to jump there, and uh. Oh. Ok, 
Okay, I don't know why my screen is not scrolling. There we go. I think it's actually easier to throw the egg up and have it ricochet off the uh, ceiling down to the... all these things down to the flower below. Alright, so here's an example of you would most likely physically run out of eggs, so we can't destroy all of these blue spike things. Too close for comfort. Oh, you little baby thief. Okay, ready for the boss fight? Why look, here's just an innocent little frog. And Kamek. Great job, Yoshi! Now you will be Froggy's lunch. Hee hee hee. Okay, watch Yoshi's eyes. Look at his eyes! Check out his eyes! He's like, did I touch another fuzzy? Am I hallucinating again? That's a frog burp if I've ever seen one. Alright, so here we have to avoid the acid drops. And thankfully he eats plenty of, you know, shy guys. We'll just turn into eggs and hit his little uvula there. Like, I'm not even gonna touch as controversial as, as like, you know, eating is. How is this not an inappropriate reference? What is this implying, Nintendo? This is also kind of one of the easiest. All I have to do is stand in one place, and that's it. But then you get flushed out of its system. Like, that's not gross. Look at Yoshi's eyes still. And that frog is a very unhappy frog. Alright, but as you can see though, notice how the... Of course I didn't do too well on Monkey Island, but... Uh, the levels are starting to get a bit longer. That was like, not quite 8 minute 